As Catherine Olbert recalls in her presentations on risks associated with RFID, veterinary and toxicology studies carried out from 1996 to 2006 found that lab mice and rats injected with microchips sometimes developed cancerous tumors around the chips. Dr. Sherry London, a veterinarian oncologist at Ohio State University, noted that it is much easier to cause cancer in mice than it is in people. Still, she suggested that a 20-year study of chipped canine was needed. Do you think we should wait and keep experimenting to develop a reliable literature on RFID long-term effects? Or do you think RFID are safe enough to be already implanted? Uh, there has been a review of studies um, that have occurred over the last um, decade or so that have involved using RFID devices in laboratory animals uh, more for identifying the animal rather than uh, having anything to do with the study. Um, and there is some indication that a small percentage of these animals did develop some sort of tumour around the site of the, uh, the implanted device um, over a period of time. Um, I think we do need to be aware that there are risks associated with implanting things in the body, but we also need to be aware that mice are a lot more susceptible to um, cancerous tumours than humans are, um, and there are a number of reasons why uh, mice may develop tumours, um, even simply injecting uh, a mouse. Um, the, the act of invasively putting a needle in can actually cause a tumour. So there's no direct causal link between these implanted devices and the tumours in, in these animals. But we do need to um, proceed with some degree of caution. Uh, there is a need for some sort of study. Um, but certainly there are a lot of implanted devices which are used in a med medical context, which use um, very similar materials, which don't have uh, a large number of um, cases of tumours um, reported. So. I, I think although we need to, to look at the evidence and there is a need for um, further work, I certainly have an implanted device, um, I have an RFID chip, I don't think the risks are um, huge. Um, there are a lot of things that people do on a daily basis where we know it causes cancer, like smoking for example, and people still do that. Um, so I think um, with implanted devices Caution is needed, but um, I don't think the studies that, that uh, have been reviewed so far really indicate that there is a, a massive need for concern. How long are you going to keep your, uh, your chip for? Indefinitely. Yeah, I, I have no reason to, to have it removed. I, I still use it. Um, I find it very useful. Um, so you know, why, why would I have it removed? It's like having contact lenses. It benefits you, you find it very useful, it becomes part of your everyday experience. Um, why would you then choose to get rid of it? So you're not really worried about uh, longer term side effects? No. Of it. And in fact, I think the risks are so small. And until there's been a group of people that have had implanted chips like these for a period of time, we're not going to have any clear evidence as to whether there are, there is the potential for, for complications. Do you get it checked regularly or not really? No. When did you get it uh, implanted? Um, in April 2009, I think it was. That's about a year and a half now. Um, I've had no indication that there's any sort of problem with it. Um, I guess I, I'm part of a rolling experiment. <laughs>